The truth is, I lied to you guys. I need to come forward. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do that with a straight face, but I, I, I did make a promise that I didn't fulfill. I said a little while ago that if we reached a certain amount of likes on a certain video that I would tell a certain story that was really embarrassing and that I didn't want to do. Unfortunately, we did reach that number of likes, and it was several months ago. And only now am I keeping the promise. So let's get into it. When I was in sixth grade, this young little kid, right? Didn't know any better. You can't be too mean to me in the comments for what I'm doing or what I did, right? Right? When I was a little kid, right, in sixth grade, I went to this summer camp. Tennis camp, uh, I was a bit of a tennis player back in the day. It was never really that good, but was good enough to spend a lot of time doing it. So uh, make that what you want. Anyways, though, I get to the camp, and, you know, I, sixth grade Connor, very romantic. Not very successful, but very romantic. Loves being unsuccessful, I guess. I don't know. And I get there, and there's this girl, and I don't, you know, she's pretty, you, know, you already know how it is. And so I get there, and, ah, man, it's, it's a tough situation, because you might be thinking to yourself, all right, well, if you're interested, what are your options? Well, option A go and talk to her no 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 option b you ignore her for the entire time don't say anything and end up at the very last minute running up to her and shoving a hastily written sloppily written love letter saying that she is so beautiful and here is my email address that ended in dot pug oh that i might have chosen option b Two, but we're going to wait till the end of this story to really tell what happened. So, I realize that she's also two years older than me. Not really looking good. Look, a lot of times, older guys might be able to get younger girls. Like, there's a little bit of a dynamic there. It is pretty uncommon that a uh, an eighth grader girl is going to go for a sixth grade guy who's really weird. He's got really not great looking hair. Like, like, down to here, it was bad, and refused to talk to you. <laughs> I remember I also sat there doing some kind of mental math calculation, really probably the most insane mental gymnastics I've ever seen, trying to justify how, well, I'm in sixth grade, but that rounds up to seventh grade, which rounds up to eighth grade, which rounds up to ninth grade, which means I'm older than her. I, I don't know if I ever came to the conclusion that I was older than her, but I came to the conclusion that, no, 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 we're, we're basically the same age. If you just do a little, uh, if you just lie to yourself, yeah, then sure. Anyways, though, so the camp was only a week long, and towards the end of the camp, I started to realize that, you know, time was coming short. It was almost time for us to leave. So in the very last night, because uh, we were leaving the next day, I uh, got a scrap of paper, got out a pen, I uh, was about to dot the Han the John Hancock on this paper, right? I wrote down, oh, God, I'm really going to document this online. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, because I think I've done it before in the past, and I'm doing it again. I said, mm, you are the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Ugh. And I said, you should contact me. <laughs> Here's my email address. And I wrote down my email address at the time, which is not my current email address, but I still don't want to reveal it because I don't know if I used it as a backup to make something, I don't know. But it had dot hug in it. Ooh, man. Yeah. Imagine, you know, like, I don't know. I think in, I, at the time I was thinking back to movies and TV shows when someone would go up and, like, very, you know, sexually slip someone their number on a piece of paper. I, I, I don't think that's the same thing. <laughs> as slipping someone your email address and being like, yeah, it's something something dot pug at gmail like dot com. Like you should really hit me up. Like that's it's not really that hot. <laughs> so I mean it's not like that was the only thing holding me back in this situation. So anyways, I write this letter and at the very last second, as she's packing up to leave, I've never spoken to her by the way. I run up to her and I with the letter in my hand, I just she was carrying some kind of bag or something. I run up and just shove the letter in the bag. And then I dip. And that wasn't... I don't think that was the worst part. I genuinely believe the worst part of this whole thing was the fact that uh, afterwards, for weeks, I was refreshing my email because I genuinely thought she would get back to me. 
That's probably the worst part of this whole story. If you want to watch another video on screen, that'd be pretty cool. And uh, peace.